up for ACS Ipo! A very good afternoon to the honorable judges, teachers, and fellow friends. We are going to present a sketch entitled Why the Tape Has No Tail. But before that, I would like to introduce the characters of this story. Lo Kai Chong. S. Tini Tamze. Muhammad Ilmi. S. Zoni Zubir Tape. Umara O. S. Ari Ali the Leopard. Jeremy Cho. S. The Farmer. Balvinda Singh. As the farmer's wife, Roshan, as the first boat, Aaron, the second boat, Srinivasan, the third boat, Muhammad Ami Ayman. The fourth goat, and last but not least, Melvin Chung. The fifth goat. <laughs> the story unfolds. The farmer and his wife were having a conversation outside their house. They were talking excitedly about a small feast which would soon be held. At that moment, a thin goat named Chini Tamze overheard their conversation. Dear, do I have to prepare a lot of food for the feast? No, I don't think so. We won't be having many people over. Hmm. How about roasting? Kini Tamze. I think he's around the right size for the feast. What? Tini Tamze? He's so thin. <laughs> well, that's fine with me. But only if we could have enough meat for the guests to eat. <laughs> Don't worry, dear. He'll be a sumptuous meal for everybody. Come. Let's go back into the house and discuss about the menu. Okay. Oh no! They're gonna kill me! What am I gonna do? I don't wanna die! I'm too young and handsome to be slaughtered! I wanna marry a nanny goat and have kids of my own! I don't wanna die this way! Oh! I must find a solution to solve this problem. Ouch! My head is aching! Tini Tamze was so shocked and saddened. He was... The next morning, he and the other goats woke up as usual, but it was only Tini Tamze that was acting rather strangely. He was neither grazing nor playing with the other goats. The other goats got curious and went up to ask him what was the problem. Yo, yo, Tamsi buddy! What's up? You seem bothered. Anything wrong? Yeah, you look rather gloomy today. What's the matter? Well, you guys, I guess today will be the last time I'll be seeing you, man. What are you for? Any problem? Why so emotional? Yeah, I overheard the farmer's conversation with his wife yesterday. The elf began to be the menu. The farmer's trying to kill me for a feast. Do you believe that? Oh, oh no! You must be joking. You want me to believe that? No, uh uh. <sighs> you gotta help me. You can't get worse. Hey, hey, son, fellas. Even if I leave this place, 
What's there to stop them from killing any one of you? Well, they didn't meet me. Am I right? Oh, it's right. Oh, it's right. Oh, it's right. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. God! That means we were all in danger. But if we were to get out of here, where do we go then? Deeper into the village, too dangerous. Too forest? Long friendly, just to think of it. Mommy, mommy, I don't want to die. Don't manage. Put on your thinking caps and think. All the goats were worried. Their faces went blank as if there won't be an answer to their problem. None of them knew what to do. What do we do now? God, please help us. Where should we go? I really don't know. Quick, quick. We have to come up with something. Quick. I have a great idea. Come on, guys. Follow me. Idea. Idea. Just come on. Later that night, the goats crept out of their pen. ran as quick as lightning away from the pen. The goats journeyed onward until they reached the field of long grass. Nearby was a pond. Wow! This area looks like a perfect spot for us. Let's make it our own. Funky cool, Diddy Thompson! It's a great idea! All of a sudden, the goats spotted a leopard stoutly pacing circles around them. They were afraid. Okay now guys. Listen to me again, please. This will be very loudly. What everyone say, right? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one leopard. There are many more birds. You can catch him. It's been a while since we've eaten a scrumptious meal of a leopard. Yeah. Yeah. We'll oh. catch him. The leopard was quite shaken and left hurriedly. Oh no, the goats are really fierce. I gotta get out of your path. He was extremely scared. On the way, he met Zoni's 